I'm the Maths Prof and today I'm going to show you the rules of indices. So these are just the power rules that you need to remember. So before I get started, I just want to point these out. These are the basic rules that you need. Whenever you're timesing two letters together that are the same or two numbers together that are the same, you're allowed to add the powers together. Whenever you're dividing two letters that are the same, you subtract the powers. And finally, if you see brackets, then you multiply the powers. So let's have a look at the first one. So I've got two letters that are the same, so the power rules apply. And because we're multiplying them together, we need to remember to add the powers. So in the first one, I'm just doing two plus three, which is five. Okay, on to the next one. So before I do this one, I just want to point out this X here. There isn't a power on the X. It's up to you to remember there's like an invisible one here that we don't normally write. So now we can subtract because remember when we're dividing, you have to subtract the powers. So I write my X value down and six take away one is five. Okay, so we've got the same answer. Now, on to the next one. This time we've got brackets. Whenever you see brackets, it means you must multiply the powers together. So in this one, two multiplied by seven is 14. Now, the fourth one is another rule, something else you need to remember. Whenever you see a letter or a number with the power of a zero, the answer is just one. No matter what letter or what number you have, if you see the power of zero, it's always equal to the number one. Right, on to the bottom one. So here, I've got two times four. Well, we know how to multiply numbers. So two times four is just eight. So you just multiply the numbers as normal. But now we're going to look at the powers. So remember that if you don't see a power, there's like an invisible one here, and also remember, the rules, the power rules, only apply when the letter is the same. So first, I'm going to look at the x values. So remember, for multiply, you're adding the powers together. So for the x's, we've got 1 plus 3, which is 4. And now I'm going to look at the y values. So again, it's multiplied, so we're adding the powers together on the y letters. So 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. And we can't do anything else with this. We can't times these letters together, okay? Because the power rules only work if the letter is the same and these letters are different. Okay, now I'm gonna make them a bit harder. Okay, so in this top one up here, I'm dividing. Remember, if you just see normal numbers, you just divide them as normal. So 36 divided by four is just equal to the number nine. And now I'm going to look at the letters individually to work out what happens to the powers. So first I'm going to look at the M values. So I'm gonna write down M. And remember, for divide, you have to subtract the powers. So for the M, we've got three, take away seven, which is negative four. And now I'm going to look at the N values. So again, I'm subtracting the powers. So I've got minus two, take away negative 10. So be careful there because you've got a double minus. You're doing minus two take away and then this happens to be negative. Remember when you see two negatives together like this, they turn into a plus. So negative two plus 10 is equal to eight. So that gives me the power on the N. So that one's done. Now, this one here, lots of people make mistakes on this one because they see the brackets and they think, great, I'm gonna multiply the powers. But then they forget about this number here. Remember, this squared affects everything inside the brackets. So you have to square this number two as well. So this two, don't forget, this has like an invisible power of one, okay, that we wouldn't normally write. But you need to remember that it's still there. So you have to multiply every single power inside the brackets by two. So that would give me one times two is just two. For the X value, you've got six times two, which is 12. For the Y value, we've got minus two times two, which is minus four. And lastly, for the Z, one times two, which is two. Now that's correct, but we can simplify this a little bit because two squared, we can work that out. Two squared is two times two, which is four. So I'm just going to write my final version like that. 
Okay, so just like in the previous, previous example, remember this power affects everything inside the brackets. So even that number three at the beginning. So remember to multiply all the powers here by three. So this one, one times three is just three. For the n value, we've got four times three, which is 12. And lastly, n, six times three, which is 18. And again, just evaluate that here, three cubed. Three cubed is three times three times three, which is 27 and everything else stays the same. Remember, you can't do anything else with these letters here because they're different letters. So the rules, the power rules, don't apply when you have different letters. So that's finished. Now, onto this one here. So this one is actually just like the one at the top here, it's divide. Remember, when you see a fraction, that just means divide. So we're doing the numerator divided by the denominator. So we're going to look at the numbers first of all. We've got 21 divided by 3, which we can work out. It's just 7. And now I'm going to look at the letter A. So remember, there's like an invisible 1 on these letters that don't have powers. So for the A, well, 1 take away 1 is just 0. For the B values, we've got 4 take away 1, which is 3. And for the C, we've got 7 take away negative 3, watch out for the double minus, so 7 plus 3, which is 10. But I can do something else with this one. Remember earlier I told you that any letter or any number that has a power of 0 is equal to the number 1. Well, I can see here I've got a to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. Well, these are all being multiplied together. So if this is 1, 7 times 1 is just 7. So I can just tidy that up a little bit and write it like that. So that makes sense because if I look over here when I'm dividing, we could have actually just crossed those out straight away because whenever you divide something by itself, so a to the 1 divided by a to the 1, well, they just cancel each other out because how many a1s in a1? Just one. Okay, so you could have crossed them out there or if you forget to do that and you see this over here, just remember anything to the power of zero is equal to one. Okay, I've got one more challenge question to finish. All right, so in this last example, it's not really that it's more difficult, it's just a long question with lots of working out. I'm not showing you any new rules. So in this first one, just before I get started, so I don't forget to do it later on, I'm going to just add the powers of 1 to all of those letters that don't have powers. Okay, and now I'm going to get started. So I'm going to work out what happens to, to the numerator to start with. Remember when you're multiplying, you must add all the powers together. So firstly, the numbers 4 and 6, well, I'm just multiplying those numbers as normal. So 4 times 6 is 24. Now I'm going to look at the x values and I'm going to add their powers together. So for the x values, we've got 1 plus 1, which is 2. Okay. Now for the y values, we've got 1 plus negative 6, which is negative 5. And finally, the t values, and we've got 3 plus 10, which is 13. Okay, so I've added all the powers together. Now, this denominator is still there. It hasn't changed just yet. And remember, when you see a fraction like this, it means we're dividing, so we're subtracting the powers. So the numbers, just as before, you just divide those as normal. So 24 divided by 8 is just 3. Now I'm going to look at the x values. So I'm subtracting, I'm doing 2 take away 1, which is just 1. Now for the y values, I've got minus 5 minus minus 2, which is the same as minus 5 plus 2 which is minus 3, and lastly, for the t values, 13 take away 5, which is just 8. Okay, so for this x value here, I did write to the power of 1, but remember, you don't have to write that, okay? You can just leave it like that. So they're the basic rules of indices, the power rules. I will have another video with other rules, harder questions, but that's more for the extended syllabus, so it may not be in your end exam. So anyway, that's all from me for today, and goodbye.